Can everyone do a deep squat? Hmm. The answer is no. Today, I'm going to share with you a few reasons why you can't squat lower. I guarantee this video will contain new information about squat technique that most YouTubers have not touched on. Do you feel like you're falling backwards every time you try to squat deeper? Do you struggle to straighten your back when doing deep squat? Or do you feel like you just can't go any lower? In this video, I will show you why. Stay tuned because you won't want to miss it. Let's go! Hi, I'm Melanie the Physio. I'm also the co-founder of Capital Physiotherapy here in Australia. Today, we're going to talk about how different proportion of your body will affect the quality and ability for you to do a deep squat. If this is the first time you visit our channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. The truth is, squats loads up different muscle group depending on the person's body type. Hence, it's normal for different people doing the same squat but feeling it at a completely different muscle group just because their body build is different. Hopefully, by the end of this video you might find out that there is nothing wrong with the way you squat and maybe your body type is just not right for deep squat exercise. Let's find out! This video is going to be a scientific one and I'll try to simplify it as much as I can. In order to understand the basic of squat technique, you'll first need to understand some physics theory like the center of mass has to stay over your feet to keep yourself balanced. I know, rocket science. The length of your trunk, your femur, your tibia, all interrelates and will affect hugely on your ability to do a low squat. Two things we need to keep in mind about the physics of squat is that the knee goes in front of the center of mass line, and the hip goes behind the center of mass line. By doing this, it creates two liver arms, the distance from the knee to center and the distance from the hip to center. As hip muscles are generally stronger than knee muscles, the proportion for liver arm ratio ideally should be aiming at 2 is to 1 ratio. Here's the thing though, everyone's built differently. Hence, this proportion changes with each individual. If the liver arm of the knee to center is short, it will cause an increase in the liver arm of hip to center, which in turn leads to an increase in trunk forward leaning in order to keep balance while doing squats, causing the back muscle to be loaded up significantly while squatting. Vice versa, if the liver arm of knee to center is long, it will cause a decrease in liver arm of hip to center and in turn leads to a decrease in trunk forward lean to keep balance during squat. This will then reduce the load of the back muscles, making squat more evenly spread between the back, hip and knees. Take for example the difference in the length of tibia. If you have a long tibia in proportion to femur, the liver arm of the knee to center is longer. Hence, you don't have to lean as far forward to keep your balance. However, if you have a short tibia in proportion to femur, in order to squat lower, you will need to bend your back way forward to keep the center of mass over your feet. Just like this person in orange, people with short tibia in proportion to femur will really struggle with lowering their squat and might find that squat really loads the back. And if they try to straighten their back to try to have the so-called better squat form, they would physically fall backwards as they are not able to maintain the center of mass over their feet in order to stay balanced. Now let's talk about the difference in the length of femur. What if you have a really long femur in proportion to tibia? You would have a really long liver arm from the hip to center. Therefore, you would have to lean really far forward to keep any form of balance. You can then check and realize it is not because you have tight ankle joints, nor are you tight in your hips. 
you just physically can't do it because of the proportion of your build. This has nothing to do with your ankle range or your hip range. It might just be that you've reached the limit of how far your trunk can lean forward. In order to get any lower, you might feel like you're falling backwards because you couldn't keep the center of mass over your feet. People with long femur would often say things like, I just can't go any lower. Now lastly, the length of your trunk. If your trunk is short and you have a long femur, it makes it even worse as you can't compensate by leaning too far forward. So you'll be even higher in your squat. And you'll find that your bottom just wouldn't go any lower because you won't be able to balance. Now compare it to someone who have proportionately long trunk to proportionately long femur and proportionately long tibia. Not only can they lower into a full squat easily, their load will also be evenly distributed between their back, hips and legs. Squat is a perfect exercise for them. All these factors are interdependent and it will affect how you feel about squat and also your ability to do deep squat. So if you're really struggling with your squat technique, even though you've been working on your hip and ankle flexibility, your back, glutes and leg strengthening, and you're wondering why you're still struggling with lowering your squat, this might be the reason. And for that, I say, don't sweat it. Squat is a good exercise that works on different muscle groups, but so is leg press, back extension, lunge, deadlift, hip thrust, and many more. There are plenty of exercise you can do that will work the same muscle group as squat. So don't sweat it. If you really still want to squat, just do it. But just don't go deep into a squat. You will still get the benefit of squatting without going low. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this video. I'm also interested to know what do you struggle with the most while doing squats? Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Anyway, that's it for me now. I'm Melanie the Physio, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, happy, and healthy. See ya!